Protests have been ongoing across the United States over the past months due to Israeli attacks in Gaza. Today, in the U.S. capital of Washington, a group of demonstrators are gathering in front of headquarters of APAC, a pro-Israel lobby group, to show solidarity with Palestine. The protesters, some of whom are wearing kefiyeh and holding Palestinian flags, are calling for end to Israeli attacks in Gaza and U.S. support for Israel. feeling extremely bad because it's the beginning of Ramadan. We know Ramadan is the time for families to get together, share a meal, pray together, enjoy spirituality. We know the families in Gaza do not have any of that. They are being uh, evicted from their homes. They are homeless. They do not have food. They do not have shelter. They do not have medical care. And we feel it is our duty to advocate for them and raise our voices for the voiceless children in Gaza. The American government is complicit in what's happening in Gaza. They, uh, the Americans vetoed four, um, four Security Council decisions to end the ceasefire in Gaza. Many Americans do not know that because it is not even covered in the mainstream media. But our country has stopped ceasefire four times. Each ceasefire could have saved thousands of lives. So we are complicit, our government is complicit, our president is complicit and we raise our voices to urge this government to do the right thing and pressure Israel to stop this genocide. When people are occupied! When Gaza is the single most destructive foreign policy decision that the U.S. has made since I began studying Arabic in 2009. And I can say that this is this is a huge, huge mistake and that the American government doesn't realize the extent to which they're losing legitimacy on issues like human rights and international law and the consequences that it's now become a norm that healthcare facilities can be targeted, that healthcare workers and professionals can be targeted is outrageous and it's not, it's not recognized the full extent of this and the ramifications it will have for the next decade. Israel has a history of escalating during Ramadan um, and now we're witnessing an unprecedented event in Palestinian history and that is a genocide um, right before our eyes something that you know we're watching in real time and that's something that you know the world hasn't ever seen before Israel wouldn't be where it is without the United States uh, Biden himself has said that had there not been Israel they would have created one Right? Uh, we don't put our trust in these officials that are not accountable to the people. Uh, rather, we put our trust in ourselves that through collective efforts, through mass action, that we will apply enough pressure where they, it makes it untenable to support Israel um, by the U.S. From the river to the sea! underscores the hypocrisy of the U.S. government, which fails to deliver justice. We're out here today because it's the, it's the week of the APAC conference, and it happens every year where the war criminals of Israel come to try to maintain the support that they have from the United States, because they know that without the U.S.'s support, they would not be able to continue the genocide against the Palestinians. There's no word to encompass the anger and the rage that we feel not only that Israel has been murdering senselessly and non-stop for five, almost six months now at this point, um, but at the U.S., our government that we pay tax dollars to, continues not only to support them and to be complicit, but to actively enable them and to participate in this genocide. It's absolutely horrendous. There's no words to cover the sort of rage that we feel every single day. The U.S. is 100% just as responsible for the genocide as Israel is.
liberated Palestinian movement that we have in America right now and all over the globe is powerful. Uh -huh. And we absolutely can win. We are winning. Woo!